lesbian user of the lesbian dating app, Her, says in her experience, more biological males than females are now using it. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to Black Angus Reviews, and boy do we have a doozy. Uh, this comes from the BBC News. Quote, we're being pressured into sex by some trans women. Yes, uh, I've talked about this off and on in private with folks. Um, before, you may have seen the stone toss. Uh, this is what a male feminist looks like. Uh, male feminists are the types who will use their allyship, their concern with women to prey upon women instead of just... Uh, being themselves, being a man, and uh, no, they got to sneak in and, and be an ally. <clears throat> Recently, last few years with the trans movement, uh, really blowing up because of TikTok after Tumblr, uh, you got these types who uh, will be trans, but they're not transitioning fully, they just identify. Uh, so they're women with penises, and uh, they try to manipulate women into this uh, cognitive dissonance of uh, removing gender preference from genitals, where it's like, I thought of penises as male, and I had to uh, rewire my thinking and stuff. And it's just, it's so manipulative. It sounds very, if I'm being frank, rapey. <laughs> this idea of pressuring women uh, against their preferences to want to be with other women or, or vice versa or any way you look at it. it's like you shouldn't be pressured the idea before with um identity and sexual preference was uh you're born with it you like what you like and now we've come full circle in our not tolerance but acceptance that now uh women have to accept this reality of being bigots if they don't want to have sex with a penis bearing person. So let's dig into this article. We won't go all the way through it because it's really long, a lot of word salad, but um, I just think this is very important, <laughs> a marker of where we're at in society. So this comes from uh, a couple days ago. It says, is a lesbian transphobic if she does not want to have sex with trans women? Some lesbians say they are increasingly being pressured and coerced into accepting trans women as partners, then shunned and even threatened for speaking out. Several have spoken to the BBC along with trans women who are concerned about the issue too. Um, and it's funny that this comes out while the controversy of Dave Chappelle and uh, what I would say half of the show with the closer being a big long running trans joke, him doubling down on the weirdo SJW he's trying to go after his livelihood. Um, I really think this is going to be a marker for the downfall of the trans movement, uh, at least in its current state of trying to cram the stuff down your throat for what is about less than half a percent of the population. And that's probably um, a high number given the world population. Uh, someone says, I have said, I have had someone saying they would rather kill me than Hitler. Uh, they said they would strangle me with a belt if they were in a room with me in Hitler. That was so bizarrely violent just because I won't have sex with trans women. Jenny is a lesbian woman. She says she is only sexually attracted to women who are biologically female and have vaginas. She therefore only has sex in relationships with women who are biologically female. I hate even reading this because it's like, of course, why do I need all these details? You know, wait, okay, woman, what does woman mean? To, oh, okay, genitals matches what we thought before with what... Yeah, you see how this gets annoying where we're conditioned now to start trying to decipher, wait, wait, woman, do they actually mean woman in a conventional sense? I hate that this affects normal processing. <laughs> Jenny doesn't think this should be controversial, but not everyone agrees. She has been described as transphobic, a genital fetishist, a pervert, and a turf. <laughs> There's a common argument that they try and use that goes, what if you met a woman in a bar and she's really beautiful and you got on really well and you went home and you discovered that she has a penis? Would you just not be interested? 
<laughs> yes, because even if someone seems attractive at first, you can go off them. I just don't possess the capacity to be sexually attracted to people who are biologically male, regardless of how they identify. Uh, I became aware of this particular issue after I wrote an article about sex lives and legal consent. Several people got in touch with me to say there was a huge problem for lesbians who were being pressured to accept the idea that a penis can be female sex organ. I knew this would be a hugely divisive subject, but I wanted to find out how widespread the issue was. Ultimately, it has been difficult to determine the true scale of the problem because there has been little research on this topic. Only one survey to my knowledge. However, those affected have told me the pressure comes from a minority of trans women as well as activists who are not necessarily trans themselves. They describe being harassed in silence if they try to discuss the issue openly. I received online abuse myself uh, <laughs> when I try to find interviewees using social media. Uh, and this goes as well for detransitioners. Um, there's a lot more coming out that uh, bought into Tumblr or DeviantArt or whatever a uh, weirdo facility um, that hosted this discussion or uh, opened the idea that they never thought of before. Like, wow, I'm the wrong gender because I'm kind of weird. I don't fit uh, conventional norms expressing myself. So maybe I'm the other sex. Um, <laughs> and now they're like, wait, I, I was totally wrong. Why did I do this? Why did society let me go through with this? I regret this. I may have bodily harmed myself irreversibly. And uh, maybe cannot reproduce because of this um, accepting culture that before would uh, go through gender dysphoria. What most of the time they let you just phase out, and then you would come to with uh, the gender you are born as. Uh, one of the lesbian women I spoke to told me she experienced verbal abuse from her own girlfriend, a bisexual woman, who wanted them to have a threesome with a trans woman. When Amy explained her reasons for not wanting to, her girlfriend became angry. The first thing she called me was transphobic. <laughs> Amy said she immediately jumped to make me feel guilty about not wanting to sleep with someone. There you go. Never apologize to SJWs because uh, it's never good enough. Never good enough. You got to bend to their will. And uh, this is uh, really murky, like me too, like true me too kind of uh, stuff going on with this that... Uh, it's funny, actually, uh, if you go to uh, not the Babylon Bee, not the Bee, there is a play going on. I just showed you that tweet of um, <laughs> a lesbian dating app is being overrun by trans women. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's like women are seeing more uh, women, queer women, trans women, uh, who are just guys in wigs or long hair, what have you. Uh, going under the identity and uh, trying to sneak in. This is what you see a lot of the times with trans or especially like ugly lesbians. It's like they, they become man haters because they're not gener generally attractive. And so they're just like, instead of accepting that, they're like trying to change the rules. And so what guys are doing. This is the next step in male feminism and trying to sneak in and uh coerce you where i'm a woman you know so it's okay that i have a penis that you don't want <laughs> it's a female penis <laughs> oh my god um but yeah uh she said the trans woman in question had not undergone genital surgery so still had a penis i know there's zero possibility for me to be attracted to this person, said Amy. <laughs> I can hear their male vocal cords. I can see their male jawline. I know under their clothes, there is male genitalia. These are physical realities that as a woman who likes women, you just can't ignore. Wow, what a transphobe. <laughs> uh, she said she'd feel this way even if a trans woman had undergone genital surgery, which some opt for while many don't. Uh, her and her girlfriend split. Good for you, Amy. I remember she was extremely shocked and angry and claimed my views were extreme, extremist propaganda inciting violence towards the trans community as well as comparing me to far-right groups. Another lesbian woman said she felt so pressured she ended up having penetrative sex with a trans woman at university after repeatedly explaining she was not interested. They lived near each other in halls of residence. Chloe had been drinking alcohol and does not think 
She could have given proper consent. I felt bad for hating every moment because the idea is we are attracted to gender rather than sex. And I did not feel that. And I felt bad for feeling like that. <laughs> uh, this is, I'm seeing this more and more with the trans crap where um, some will have some issue and they got a preface for like, well, like I'm an actress. I go to pride parades and this and that. But like this thing happened, it happened recently actually with the uh, trans woman went in naked with uh, women and girls in a spa. And uh, when they complained to management, they said, well, she's a woman. I don't know what to do about it. Sorry, she let her wang hang out in front of your kid. Don't be a transphobe. <laughs> this is the reality we've exposed women to. Uh, the language at the time was very much, trans women are women. They are always women. Lesbians should date them. And I was like, that's the reason I rejected this person. Does that make me bad? Am I going to be allowed to be in the community anymore? Am I going to face repercussions for that instead? So I didn't actually tell anyone. Uh, see, this, this whole crap has put women at risk uh, of harming themselves inadvertently. Hearing experiences like these led one lesbian actress to begin researching the topic. Uh, she's a co-founder of Get the L Out, whose members believe the rights of lesbians are being ignored by much of the current alphabet movement. She and her fellow activists have demonstrated at Pride marches. Um, Pride in London accused the group of bigotry, ignorance, and hate. Lesbians are still extremely scared to speak because they think they won't be believed because the trans ideology is so silencing everywhere. Uh, <laughs> she said that of the 80 women who did respond, 56 reported being pressured or coerced to accept a trans woman as a sexual partner. While acknowledging the same, uh, the sample may not be representative of the wider community, she believes that it was important to capture their points of view and stories. Um... As well as experiencing pressure to go on dates or engage in sexual activity with trans women, some of the respondents reported being successfully persuaded to do so. I thought I would be called a transphobe, or that it would be wrong of me to turn down a trans woman who wanted to exchange nude pictures. Young women feel pressured to sleep with trans women to prove I am not a TERF. One woman reported being targeted in an online group. I was told that homosexuality doesn't exist, and I owed it to my trans sisters to unlearn my genital confusion so I can enjoy letting them penetrate me. Wow, this is some real insidious shit. Uh, we gotta talk about it. We gotta protect these ladies from um, this insidious crap by uh, men in drag pretending to be women to uh, get their jollies they can't get el uh, otherwise. Uh, one compared going on dates with trans women to so-called conversion therapy, the controversial practice of trying to change someone's sexual orientation. I knew I wasn't attracted to them, but internalized the idea that it was because of my trans misogyny. And if I dated them for long enough, I could start to be attracted to them. It was do-it-yourself conversion therapy. Uh, yeah, so th this article goes on and on and on. A lot of stuff, a lot of uh, word salad and just more, uh, essentially, women letting themselves get raped out of fear of being transphobes. This is the world we've allowed um, with this veil of uh, ex tolerance. It's really forced acceptance to the point of allowing yourself to be sexually assaulted, uh, but unable to report it without feeling uh, potential ostracization. So... Yeah, I felt this is important to talk about um, with what at service level looks like a meme of like, well, of course, you know, general public's going to laugh at this, but um, it's a lot, pardon the pun, deeper than that. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you all thought in the comments below. Um, yeah, it's just, this is wacky stuff. So uh, let's have a good conversation. Talk to you all later.